Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is on this maroon makeup look that you can wear to prom, formal or any other special event. So let's jump straight into it. I'm first starting off with this mustard shade above my crease as I want to create almost like a sunset gradient look for the maroon shade to fade into. Then I'm grabbing this light brown eyeshadow and placing it directly into my crease. And this will start defining the eyes and also serve as a guide for the other eyeshadows. I'm also making sure to blend it well into the mustard shade. I then used a darker brown to deepen my crease a little more. I'm focusing this shade in between the mustard and light brown shadows. Next, picking up the maroon shade, I'm going to apply it in such a way that when the eyes are open, the maroon is obvious and vibrant. Make sure you take the time to blend the four shades well into each other. And then with a fluffy blending brush, I'm going to buff out the edges with the mustard eyeshadow. I then amped up the maroon shade and manipulated almost a cat eye look by exaggerating the outer V. Next, grabbing this dark chocolate brown on a bullet brush, I blended it into the outer corner to give my eyes more depth and dimension. And then slowly brought it up into my crease. And then taking the maroon shade again, I blended it all out so that there are no stark lines. And then repeated the steps on the other side as well. Now for the wing, I kept it quite thin as I wanted my eyeshadow work to be seen when my eyes are open. I have a pretty detailed winged liner tutorial for those of you who aren't confident with perfecting your wings. And then I cleaned up the wing with concealer to ensure a razor sharp wing. To smoke out my eyes a little more, I decided to add a tiny amount of black eyeshadow to the very outer corner as close to the wing as possible and use this shade to join the crease with the lid and then be sure to blend it out to perfection. And then one final time, blend out all the shadows using the maroon color. For the inner corner highlight, I picked up this stunning tan shimmer eyeshadow and applied a generous amount to ensure that my eyes pop even more. For my lashes, I picked up a stunning silk set from Artemis called Soul Changer. As always, curl your lashes and apply mascara before applying mink or silk lashes. As you never want to apply mascara directly onto silk or mink lashes. I'm going to speed through my base as you guys have seen me do it heaps of times but pretty much I sprayed Urban Decay's oil control setting spray onto my brush before buffing NARS sheer glow onto my face. I find this method helps prevent a greasy look. And then taking NARS concealer in biscuit, applied it onto the center of my face to highlight and blend it out with a damp beauty sponge. This one is by Real Techniques. And then set those areas with Laura Mercier's Secret Brightening Powder. For contour, I used LA Girls Espresso and set those areas with Anastasia's Contour Kit in Medium Tan. I have two contour and highlight videos on my channel. One is very in-depth and the other one is a drugstore version, so definitely check them out if you're unsure on your contour techniques. Then for my cheekbone highlight, I applied Opal by Becca Cosmetics. Now to finish off my eyes, I applied the maroon shade under my lower lash line to bring the eye look together. And then focus the dark brown eyeshadow closer to my lash line for a deeper smoked out effect. 
And the last step for the eyes, mascara on the bottom lashes. And then for the lips, I used Max Night Moth to outline and Spore Skills Lipstick in Bitten to fill the entire lip. Feel free to use concealer to clean up any messy edges as well. And that is the finished look guys. I hope you can wear these to your next special event. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Don't forget to give me a like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Come here now, girl.